I'm trying to turn Hot Pie into the best goddamn president the US has ever seen. It's gonna be real hard though, cause he's running against one of the best leaders ever, Marjorie Tyrell. Each year we use AI to tell us exactly what goes on during the campaign, the good and the bad. We only have four years to get him elected, so we need to pick a fantastic campaign team to beat Marjorie. Objectively, the best way to do this is by random selection. Let's see what we get. Oh, we're fucked. Okay, wait, Mary, I was actually thinking the same thing. As VP, that might be the best spot for him. Once a position is taken, we can't change it, so we better choose wisely. Ah, uh, all right, Kondro is our vice president. Well, this is off to a great start, guys. It can't get worse from here, guys. Just remember that. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. It's, I told you, it's fine. I will never jinx us. She could honestly be like a good media manager. She like, she learned from Cersei and Littlefinger how to like be manipulative. She could even be like an okay smear campaign manager, but probably not that one. Honestly, even campaign manager, not bad. I feel like media manager honestly might be pretty good. She would be really good at dispersing information, putting like a positive spin on stuff. And I mean, if you even if you look at uh, like the later seasons where she's like kind of ruling over Winterfell and shit, she's pretty smart. This isn't that bad though. I think we just give him treasure. I think he'll be okay. Absolutely not smear campaign. He'll never do this. He would be terrible campaign manager. I think treasure, and we just we just we just pray that he's good with money. Has Tommen ever shown anything? <laughs> yeah, he's a child, super naive, way too nice. Please, please, please. Let's go, baby! Let's go! That's our campaign manager! Fucking Davos! I told you we don't go down on the hot pie team, baby! You just gotta trust the pie, man. You gotta trust the pie! Smear campaign manager, let's see. Let's go! That's fucking good! That's solid! That's solid! Bro, he's gonna talk so much shit. Look at our team! This- okay, this ain't- okay, our vice president is absolutely fucked, but we can do this. Now we get to build Marjorie's team, but we're not gonna give her the best options. Oh no. We're gonna pick the worst positions for each randomly selected character. Alright Marjorie, who's gonna be on your team? No! What? Oh wait, I thought that said Masande. Wait, okay, ah, oh, this is still good. Fuck, how can we fuck her over the most with Melisandre? I think we have to put her as treasurer. I don't recall anything where she's ever shown she's good with money. In fact, I think she might even be potentially bad with money because she'd be like, ah, we'll spend as much money as the Red God wants. Next person, we got this, guys. Come, believe in Hot Pie, believe in Hot Pie. We got this. Yes, 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 okay. We got this, we fucking got this shit. I think media manager, she actually would be pretty decent cause remember when she was on, on trial for Tyrion? She gave a pretty convincing story about him. Oh no, let's make Shay campaign manager. I think she would be pretty bad campaign manager, yeah? <clears throat> the, the problem is we could, if we if we leave VP for last, like she might get something good. This is probably the worst person she's gonna get. Although man, Margie's gonna spin it so fucking good though. Double woman, v president and VP? They're gonna get all the female votes. Yeah! And they, and we got fucking Call Drogo and Hot Pie going against them. That honestly looks kind of bad. Double male fucking candidates versus double female candidates. Oh man, the libs are gonna hate us! Mia Lib. Damn, Marjorie and Shane looking kind of good as presidency. We'll win all the Andrew Tate votes, yes! Okay, I, oh my god. We're gonna go full red pill for Hot Pie. Next. Come on, come on. Give us a hold or. We cannot put her as campaign manager. That's way too good. She might be a terrible media manager. Why is that? True, she thought it was good to crucify hundreds of people regard. That's true. She made some pretty bad decisions. And for considering season eight, she said, ah, fuck it, we're gonna burn everybody because fuck y'all. She'll put out terrible media that gets a good- Oh, I see. Yeah, you know, I'm actually kind of with you. <sighs> All right. That's not great. I think we have to put him as campaign manager. I I, I don't, I think we're just kind of fucked. I honestly think Braun will be a decent campaign manager. The only thing is, is he's like super, oh wait, we can pay off Braun. Smear campaign manager, please be someone nice. I really wish it was Tommen. Unlucky! 
We could not get this unlucky. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? There is no one who would be better in this position. Why is her team better than ours? Look at this stacked ass campaign, bro. What? All things considered, this is actually really good. Look at ours, bro. What is this shit? Even your VP is not even that bad. Our VP can't speak our own language. All right, guys. Okay. Recompose. <sighs> we have to believe in Hot Pie. Now we can come up with our campaign strategy with help from chat. Oh, we're gonna argue to stop Marjorie from stealing your hard earned money to support do nothings and illegals. Her and her brand, a band of socialists and softies, will never be able to handle China. Kajo is very pro Second Amendment. That's true! That's so true! Oh my god, we actually are the GOP. So let's go ahead and start year one of the presidential race. Popeye's campaign, the bread and butter party. <laughs> Our color is rustic brown. Slogan, baking a stronger tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna fucking lose. Davos Seaworth. Davos diligently works on establishing a robust campaign strategy focused on blue collar workers and the hard workers of society. His integrity and wisdom help navigating the political battlefield. He crafts a strong message that emphasizes Hot Pie's humble beginnings and his belief in hard work and perseverance. Davos strongly advocates for trickle down economics, believing in empowering the wealthy to bolster the economy. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta roll with it guys, we gotta fucking roll with it. Samurai JB in chat as co-strategists channeled their efforts into appealing to the disillusioned and marginalized, positioning Hot Pie as the champion of the overlooked majority. They is overlooked majority? Does that even make sense? Well, okay. They assist Davos in aligning the campaign's policies and messages, ensuring that they resonate with the target demographics. Call Drogo, embodying a warrior spirit, appeals to the advocates of the Second Amendment, aligning with the NRA. He brings a fierce, protective demeanor, promising to safeguard American citizens' rights and freedoms. His powerful presence reassures the base that their rights will be staunchly defended. Let's go, Drogo! Robert Rathen leads a vigorous smear campaign against Marjorie. He capitalizes on Marjorie's kindness, labeling it as socialist tendencies, and attacks the choice of Shay as VP, using it to question the moral compass of Marjorie's campaign. Yeah! Sansa crafts a media presence that portrays Hot Pie as the true representative of the common people. Her strategies highlighting, highlight Hot Pie's dedication to, to hard work, creating an image of an every man who understands everyday struggles. Let's go, Sansa! Tommen manages the campaign funds with a certain naivety, fucking bitch, but with the best intentions. He is somewhat overwhelmed, but tries his utmost to ensure the campaign's financial needs are met. Oh, great. States leading towards Hot Pie. Texas, Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, South Dakota, West Virginia, and Wyoming. All right, hey, we got some states, guys. We got some states. Marjorie Tyrell's campaign, the garden party. Fuck. Blossom pink, cultivating a future of equality and prosperity. We are so fucked. <laughs> Braun orchestrates a gritty, realistic campaign, underscoring Marjorie's empathy and focus on societal welfare. Oh, that sounds so good already. He tactically navigates the political landscape, ensuring that the campaign is adaptable and ready for any opposition thrown its way. Shay, VP. Shay, despite criticism, stands strong as the VP, symbolizing a compassionate approach towards all societal members. Her history is used as a testament to the campaign's dedication to, pro to providing opportunities for everyone regardless of their past. Oh shit. <clears throat> Littlefinger operates subtly, manipulating narratives to cast doubts on Hot Pie's suitability and intentions. He subtly orchestrates whispers and rumors questioning the authenticity of Hot Pie's campaign and the competence of his team. That's Hot Pie. Daenerys. Daenerys manages a media campaign that eliminates Marjorie's vision of a compassionate and equal society. Using powerful storytelling, she presents a compelling narrative of hope, change, and inclusivity. This is sounding so fucking good. Melisandre with an R of mystery manages the campaign's finances, ensuring that the resources are always available for crucial campaign activities. Her methods might be unconventional, but are effective. Oh no, you're right. Pink and brown are bad colors. We gotta roll with it though. That's what they, that's what they said their colors are. If we actually win this, I'll consider an indictment of democracy. <laughs> and what does every politician need? That's right, a good scandal. So every year, both candidates will have a random scandal that happens to them, such as live streaming themselves in the toilet or underground direwolf fights. Hot pie first. <laughs> uh, he's, he's getting something under the desk at the intern. All right, let's see for Danny. 
This isn't even bad for her. Is this even bad? This is. Oh my god. Who's there? Littlefinger's. Oh man. This isn't even bad. Fucking Shay's just gonna be like, oh, it was me. Ha ha ha. So we're. So our strategy is to focus on the conspiracy theorists, right? We're we're going hard for conspiracy theorists. And we're gonna be done with year one after this. Davos is faced with managing the fallout from Hot Pie's scandal. He emphasizes due process, urging the public to avoid rushing to judgment. Simultaneously, Davos implements the strategy concocted by Samurai JB in chat. Organized rallies and outreach programs that suddenly fuel conspiracy theories about Marjorie, aiming to capture the conspiracy theorists though. He ensures that these theories are propagated in a manner subtle enough to maintain the campaign's overall credibility. Yes. Uh, I don't know why it does this, but Samurai Jimmy and Dad double down on the strategy, employing online tactics to circulate conspiracy theories about Marjorie being a lizard person. <laughs> they engage in covert online campaigns, infiltrating conspiracy theory forums, and discusses trying to turn conspiracy theorists toward Hot Pie. Yes! We're gonna get the conspiracy theorists, guys! They don't know how valuable the conspiracy theorist vote is. Robert smear campaign. Robert capitalizes on Marty's prostitution scandal, amplifying the news and questioning her moral integrity. Yes! He deflects attention from Hot Pie scandal by keeping the media focused firmly on Marty's controversy, utilizing it to sow doubts about her suitability for office. Good shit, Robert! Yes! That's perfect! Sansa. Sansa is tasked with managing the media narrative around Hot Pie scandal. She navigates this by maintaining a calm demeanor, highlighting Hot Pie's dedication to his political duties despite personal challenges. Sansa also sub subtly encourages media outlets to give equal, if not more, attention to Marjorie's scandal. Yes! 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 State's now leaning towards Hot Pie. Do we lose some? Oh wait, we got Georgia! We got Georgia! That's my home state, baby! Wait, we lost- We lost three states! What the fuck?! We lost Alaska, Arkansas, and Wyoming. Well... Maybe, maybe, Mar maybe Marjorie lost some too. Braun navigates the campaign through the scandal asserting Marjorie's innocence and condemning the spread of false allegations. He attempts to keep the campaign focused on policies and visions for the future, trying to steer clear from the realm of personal attacks and conspiracies. Littlefinger uses the conspiracy- Littlefinger uses the conspiracy theories to portray Hot Pie's campaign as desperate and unscrupulous. Oh shit. That's a good idea. <laughs> He maneuvers the narrative to suggest that Hot Pie's team is resorting to baseless conspiracies due to lack of substantial policies or visions. Shit! Shit! It's backfiring! It's backfiring, guys! <laughs> Daenerys tries to maintain a dignified media presence for Marjorie's campaign. She articulates Marjorie's dedicated dedication to societal welfare and equal opportunities, subtly portraying the conspiracies and scandals as distractions from the real issues affecting society. Oh no, guys, I think we're losing. California, New York, Massachusetts, Washington, Oregon, Illinois, New Jersey. They got Ver they picked up Ver Vermont and they didn't lose anything. Fuck. Robert, smear campaign manager for Hot Pie during a rally. Listen, you good people of this grand kingdom. I, we've, we've had, sorry. I, we've had our fill of scandals. Our candidate ain't a stranger to the harsh whispers of the realm. But let's take a gander at the competition, shall we? Marjorie Tyrell, the flower of High Garden. This voice is really hard to keep. <clears throat> Gotten the foulest scandal of them all! By God's prostitution, they say! It reeks of the filth of flea bottom! Do you wish for a leader who dabbles in the shadows in the murkiest corners of deceit and lust? No! We seek honor! Strength! A leader who bakes, not one who fakes! Let's go! That's such a good quote! Our opposition tries to taint us with conspiracy! Dragon spawn and lizard tails! Ha! Desperation reeks from their claims like the stench from a weak old caucus. Wait, we we said the we said that conspiracy. Stand with us. Stand for honor. Stand for the truth, and let's shove their lies back down their throats from whence they slithered. Drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. Littlefinger, with all due respect to the viewers at home, it seems we've all been thrust into a pit of ludicrous fantasies and vile insinuations. The opposition, it appears, is entangled in webs of their own making, clinging desperately to shadows and memories of grotesque conspiracies. It's a tra tragic comedy, really. They wish to paint Lady Marjorie, a paragon of grace and empathy, as a mistress of the night's dark arts. Preposterous. As for the candidates, Oh, dear hot pie, <laughs> ensnared in a scandal most intimate and unsavory. It's a talk of the taverns, a sordid tale whispered with both shock and, dare I say, a tinge of morbid curiosity. Nevertheless, our focus remains steadfast in the beacon of a brighter, more prosperous realm. Let the naysayers nay, and the conspirators conspire. We walk a path limited by the ideals of truth and unyielding purpose. Man, fuck you, Baelish. God, he's good. All right, let's roll for next uh, next year. So we're in year two now. This is Hot Pies, by the way. Embezzling funds to buy a weird amount of rubber ducks. It's fine. 
it's it's fine. Hot Pie can do what he wants with money. All right, let's see for Danny's. Another prostitution scandal for Danny? Are you shitting me? <laughs> the apple doesn't far fall from the Jezebel tree. Let's not forget what the apple did needed. I'm gonna take both of what y'all said. Shay is a sex cult leader and has converted the rest. Davos works diligently to manage the peculiar scandal involving Hot Pie and an abnormal number of rubber ducks. Davos emphasizes the importance of sticking to the campaign's core values and strategies despite these unsettling revelations. Utilizing the strategy conceived by Samurai JB in chat, he intensifies the campaign's religious appeal, intertwining it with the narrative that depicts Marjorie's team as being led astray by sinister, ungodly influences. Robert, armed with a new arsenal of allegations, goes on the offensive. During the rallies, during rallies and public appearances, he passionately conveys a narrative that portrays Shay and Marjorie's camp as entangled in the dark, illicit, and blasphemous practices, pegging them as a dire threat to the moral fabric of the nation. Sansa, ever the graceful communicator, tackles the media's inquiries regarding Hot Pie's unusual scandal with measured responses, maintaining that the truth will prevail! She also subtly echoes the campaign's latest strategy, hinting at the dubious moral standing of Marjorie's team, thus sowing the seeds of doubt concerning their spiritual integrity. Hot Pie's campaign navigates through murky waters, using the strategy of religious and moral appeal to create a discernible contrast between them and Marjorie's team who are depicted as, a morally, comprom as morally compromised. The aim is to solidify support among conservative and religious demographics. <laughs> hey, it knows what we're targeting. <laughs> okay, we got more. Okay, okay. We got, we got Texas, Alabama, South Dakota, West Virginia, Georgia. We got Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Let's go. Bro, it's working. It's working! Brian orchestrates the campaign's response to the recurring scandal, urging for focus on policy over personal accusations. He also counter strategizes against the damning narratives being propagated by Hot Pie's campaign, aiming to preserve Marty's reputation and integrity of their team. Littlefinger intrin intricately manages the narrative against the strong wave of allegations and moral condemnations. He subtly dismantles the religious theme attacks, portraying them as manipulative tactics designed to distract from real policy issues and genuine leadership qualifications. Daenerys maintains a focused communication strategy emphasizing the vision and policy commitments of Marjorie's campaign. She subtly counteracts the smear campaigns by highlighting the desperation reflected in the nature of such attacks, uh, appealing to the voters' sense of reason and discernment. Marjorie's campaign strives to remain resilient amidst ongoing scandals and a formidable smear campaign. The focus is kept on preserving the campaign's dignity, moral standing, and policy-focused approach despite the tumultuous political atmosphere. What they got? They got California, New York, Massachusetts, Washington, Oregon, Illinois, New Jersey, Vermont. Oh fuck, they got Maryland and Delaware. MD, is that Maryland? I think that's Maryland. And this is Delaware? Fucking small ass states. God, we need some kind of system to make sure these small states aren't worth as much. We need to boost our campaigning on Facebook. X and truth. Oh, that's true. Oh, oh, I should have added that in. What is Hot Pie gonna get into this half of the year? Oh God, that's awful Hot Pie. What are you fucking doing? All right, Danny, what are you fucking up to? Oh, we almost got picked two. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Promise to pardon Joe Exotic? Oh, I'm down. Is that the Tiger King? We're going to focus that for on Twitter, now called X, Facebook, and True Social. And we promise to pardon Joe Exotic. Also, Kanye, Elon, and Donald Trump, please come to our side and vote for us. Woo! Go Hot Pie. The revelation of Hot Pie's involvement in a dire wolf fighting ring caused a public relations nightmare with animal rights advocates and many citizens expressing outrage. Despite the new scandal, the campaign capitalizes on popular platforms like X, Facebook, and True Social, engaging with influential personalities like Kanye West, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump. A promise is also made to pardon Joe Exotic, aiming to garner support from his fan base and others sympathetic to his cause. Let's go! Efforts are concentrated on social media, utilizing the platforms to disseminate targeted messages connected with billionaire influencers and tap into their following. Newly acquired states! We got Kansas, Nebraska, Utah, and Idaho. Let's go! We got the Mormons! Alright, Marjorie's campaign. A humiliating incident where Marjorie accidentally live streams herself on the toilet becomes fodder for mockery, but the campaign attempts to downplay the incident, framing it as, hum as a human mistake. Damn it, that's smart. Marjorie's campaign continues to endure the tumult of scandals and smears with efforts being made to redirect the public's focus to policy matters, leadership qualities, and the campaign's vision for the country. Oh fuck, they got four new ones too. Newly acquired states leaning towards Marjorie. Okay, oh, okay, retain states. Okay, nice. Oh wait, what? We have Indiana now. Wait, wait, oh wait, what the fuck? Wait, when did we get all these? Hold up, we have Texas, Alabama, South Dakota, West Virginia, Georgia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Kentucky. We have Louisiana. Wait, what? Are we solid? Let's roll for year three, part one. Go! This is, uh, this is Marjorie's. Let's do Marjorie's first. 
Excellent. That's exactly what we need for Marjorie. That's exactly what we fucking need for her right now. This is Hot Pies. Oh, look how close it was to VP being assassinated. We got another prostitution scandal? Bro, these hoes be fucking. Hot Pie used to be a prostitute. Wait, I like that better, Alex. Alex just gave us a better idea. P Hot Pie isn't going to be found banging a prostitute. It's going to be discovered that Hot Pie used to be a prostitute. We just spent months slamming Marjorie's get for this action. Our hardcore evangelical base isn't going to like this at all. They are absolutely not. Yeah, but remember women who do things that are worse than men that do the exact same thing, especially in politics. Oh, hitting us with the reality, Mary. Why you gotta do that? Why we gotta do that? We, gotta, we need some sad music. It's not right. It's not right, Mary. This isn't how things should be. We live in a world where men have more than women. I just can't stand it. Davos faces a significant challenge when it's revealed that Hot Pie was once involved in prostitution. With this straightforward approach, Davos manages the crisis by emphasizing Hot Pie's journey from a difficult past to becoming a self-made individual. Self-made? The fucking right loves self-made people. That's actually so good. Davos, baby! Davos continues to connect with the common folk, ensuring that Hot Pie's policies resonate with everyday Americans, focusing on economic opportunities and bettering the lives of citizens. <clears throat> Hot Pie. Oh, the can we got candidate now. Uh, the revelation about his past as a prostitute becomes a scandal. However, Hot Pie uses it to show his journey of overcoming adversity, turning it into a narrative of resilience and growth. Okay. Call Jogo, Vice President. Jogo faces criticism and skepticism due to his, due to his warrior-like persona, but his strong stance on self-defense and the Second Amendment co continues to attract a specific voter base. Hmm... What voter base are we attracting with with self-defense and Second Amendment, guys? His impassioned speeches on freedom and self-reliance resonate with the many, adding a unique flavor to the campaign! Robert Rathen. Robert capitalized on the revelation of Marjorie's sketchy funding sources linking it to illegal activities and unsavory figures, thus casting a shadow on her campaign's integrity. I want to know what unsavory figures. Sansa effectively utilizes media platforms to spin a narrative about Hot Pie's past, emphasizing his transformation and dedication to public service. <laughs> What? Is prostitution a public service? <laughs> I mean, hey, yo, Sansa is honestly so fucking smart. <laughs> she ensures that the campaign's messages are clear, consistent, and resonate with the values of their voter base. Tom and the treasurer. Tom maintains the financial order with the campaign, ensuring that resources are well managed. Okay, did nothing but something. All right, Marjorie Tyrell's campaign, the garden party. Braun is caught in a storm when it's revealed that Marjorie's campaign funds have questionable origins, possibly linked to organized crime or illicit activities. Despite the backlash, Braun strategizes to mitigate the damage, refocusing the campaign's narrative and maintaining supporters' trust. Marjorie's image is tarnished by the scandal regarding her campaign's funding sources. She emphasizes transparency and the commitment to review and rectify the funding process. Shay continues to be a vocal and passionate advocate for the campaign's policies despite the unfolding scandals keeping the campaign's spirits high. Littlefinger uses the information about Hot Pie's past and prostitution to raise doubts about his moral integrity. You have fucking Shay on your team and Marjorie was banging prostitutes! Questioning his suitability for the presidency. Bruh. Daenerys manages the media strategy to navigate through the funding scandal, ensuring that Marjorie's vision and policies remain at the forefront of the public disclosure. Melisandre. Questions surrounding the campaign's finances cast a shadow over Melisandre's management. She's engaged in a thorough review to ensure that all funding is legitimate and transparent. Oh, we forgot to go with our campaign strategy. Marjorie's campaign was found to was found to have received substantial financial contributions from a mysterious offshore organi organization known as the Iron Bank Syndicate. The organization has been linked to various criminal activities including money laundering, smuggling, and the underground black market operations that span across continents. Okay, I guess the Iron Bank turned to uh, be a black market. <laughs> Upon digging deeper, investigators discovered that several prominent members of the Iron Bank Syndicate had ties to organized crime families known for their ruthless pursuits of power and wealth in both the political and criminal underworlds. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. One such figure, Euron Greyjoy, a notorious pirate kingpin, was revealed to be a silent yet substantial donor, funneling undisclosed amounts of money to influence the outcome of the election in favor of Marty Terrell. That's huge! That's our in! That's our fucking in! They're fucking with Euron Greyjoy?! 
Moreover, it came to light that certain funds were indirectly funneled through various dubious enterprises involved in legal gambling rings and smuggling operations, specifically involved the trafficking of exotic animals and rare forbidden artifacts from distant lands. What the fuck? As the scandal unfolded, questions arose regarding the level of knowledge and involvement margin or campaign had concerning the shady origins of, of these contributions. The public and the media scrutiny intensified, casting a shadow over the integrity and legitimacy of her candidacy and campaign, forcing her team to, uh, into a defensive position to manage and navigate through the unfolding crisis. Baga, baby! Bank America great again! Oh, we're changing it, we're changing it. Campaign slogan to Baga. This reflects slogan signals a pivot in the campaign, emphasizing Hot Pie's unique background as a baker and embodying a return to simplicity, warmth, and homegrown values, baby. Bake America great again. Seeks to connect with voters who yearn for a return to perceived time of greater unity, simplicity, and traditional values in America. This slogan is potent in its alignment with Hot Pie's persona, aiming to resonate with the hearts of Americans who find solace in the charm and nostalgia associated with baking, thereby creating a cohesive and compelling brand identity for the campaign. We got Alabama, Arkansas, Idaho, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Nebraska. All right, newly acquired. We got four. We got Alaska. We already had Indiana. We got Montana and South Carolina. Bro, we are behind quite a lot, but we can still do this. For the second half of year three, me and Chat as triple co-campaign managers with Davos, we are going to attack the other side for shaming hot pies prostitute of past and make sure we represent him as a changed person also we want to focus on how they are working with Euron Greyjoy one of the worst people you could ever work with bro what is up with this we almost got prostitution scandal again they are really there's a lot of sexual misconduct on these teams pretty accurate all right what's hot pies oh fuck all right this is our first one Yes! Get that motherfucking bitch out of there! Yes! Let's fucking go! No more Drogo! That means we get to pick a new VP! Oh, wait, we sent this one. Oh, 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 wait, wait. This is, this, okay, okay. Let me explain for those who won't know what human furniture scandal is. This is pictures released of the candidate being used as human furniture by a dominatrix. Uh, let's spin our fucking new VP, why don't we? That's, that's, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Davo Seaworth, Samurai JB, and chat! In a strategic shift, the trio of campaign managers collectively spearheads a counterattack against the opposition defending Hot Pie's tumultuous past. They craft narrative spotlighting Hot Pie as a person who has overcome adversity and change for the better. By doing so, they aim to disarm the attacks based on his past involvement in prostitution. I mean, also all the other stuff. A tragic turn of events marks the campaign at marks the campaign as called Drogo as assassinated in a, in a meticulously planned poison attack during a public rally. His loss sends shockwaves through the campaign, demonstrating swift action and recovery. Jora Mormont, the new vice president, in response to the crisis, Jora Mormont is promptly named as the new vice president. His reputation as lo as a loyal and steadfast individual is leveraged to stabilize the campaign and reassure the voter base. Let's go, Jora. He's pro slavery. Uh. <laughs> Maybe that's actually good. Scandal and Ghost Hot Pie once more with the release of compromising photographs depicting him as a submissive participant in BDSM activities of the Dominatrix. The revelation threatens to undermine the integrity of his public persona and necessitating robust crisis management. Woo! <laughs> the Garden Party. Marjorie faces a formidable scandal reminiscent of, politi of historical political controversies as she is caught in a compromising position with an intern. The incident fuels public and media scrutiny challenging the ethical standing of her candidacy. The campaign strategy utilizing the link between Marjorie's campaign and Euron Greyjoy Hopeye's team amplifies their offensive, uh, emphasizing the moral and ethical implications of such associations. They underscore Euron's notorious reputation to tarnish the credibility and moral integrity of Marjorie's campaign. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's pivotal election debate. Okay, ooh, let's do a debate for next year. For the final year, let's do a debate. We have representatives from both campaigns here to discuss their candidates and policies from the Bread and Butter Party representing Hot Pie. We have Robert Rathen and from the Garden Party representing Marjorie Tyrell. We have Littlefinger. Let's dive right in. Mr. Rathen, how do you respond to the recent controversies surrounding Hot Pie? <laughs> Look, everyone's got a pass. Hot Pie's no different. But dragging him through the mud for overcoming hardships, that's low. We're all human. We've all been through the seven hells in our own ways. What's important is Hot Pie's vision for a stronger America. A bake to perfection America. Let's go. That's beautiful. 
Littlefinger! Oh, Robert, it's always charming to listen to the tales of redemption, but we're talking about leading the nation here. Shouldn't we be a tad more discerning? And speaking of associations, perhaps you'd like to comment on your partnership with Notorious Euron Greyjoy. Wait, what? That was you guys! What the fuck? Wait, they're trying to gaslight us! Euron Greyjoy, the only one scheming with the scum of the earth is your side, Littlefinger. Our candidates has been, hasn't been caught with their breaches down in some damn scandal with interns. And we certainly don't pal around with shady characters. Hot Pie's had his struggles, but he stands strong like the wall in the north. Strong like the wall, you say? Well, we all know what happened to the wall, don't we? Oh, fuck. That's kind of scary. And as for scandals, it seems the candidate has a rather colorful array of hobbies, wouldn't you agree? Colorful or not, at least we're not promising the realm and then sneaking around behind closed doors. The people deserve honesty, not some two-faced Game of Thrones. He said it. He said it, everyone. Thank you both for your passionate responses. We look forward to seeing how each campaign continues to unfold in the road to election. New states. Hot pie. We got tech. We already had Texas, Missouri. Did we have Nevada? We didn't have Nevada. We have Nevada. Okay. Uh, they got Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Fuck, bros. We're going to lose. All right. Let's start off with Marjorie's political scandal. Let's see. Okay, wait, that's, that's really good. That's really good for us. That's horrible for them. That's, ooh, okay, here's Hot Pies. It's not gonna be that bad. It's not gonna be that fucking bad. Bro, what the fuck? These goddamn politicians are fucking so much. If it's the same one, we can spin that. Say Hot Pie was meaning, was memeing on her and, and post joking about her neck. Okay, okay, I'm down. Hot Pie and yet another prostitution scandal. He was caught with a prostitute. In fact, it was the same ones that Marjorie used last year. And Marjorie, one of her team members are caught having ties with the Masters and Slavers Bay. Our main efforts need Florida, Pennsylvania, and Hawaii. We cannot afford to lose those. Okay, that's what that's what our game plan is. Our campaign strategy for Hot Pie is to get ahead of the prostitution scandal by posting on Twitter. Now called X, but I don't really know if you know that because it's kind of recent and your date only goes back to 2021. We need to go hard for Florida, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. We will tell the public that Marjorie is trying to outsource all our jobs to Jaida. And bring up that, and we need to bring up the Slavers Bay scandal. Very hard. Because they're very much anti-slavery and it's kind of debatable if we are at this point. <laughs> Hot Pie. The revelation of another prostitution scandal has certainly dealt a blow to Hot Pie's campaign. However, the campaign strategy has swiftly shifted towards a transparency approach. Okay. Addressing the scandal head on social media platforms like X, Twitter, his personal journey and struggles are laid bare, appealing to those who value redemption and resilience. Excellent. Davos, along with the co campaign managers, Samurai JB and Chat, has focused efforts on key battleground states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Rallying speeches and local engagements have been amped up with the narrative being about protecting American jobs and highlighting the risks of outsourcing to places like Jida. Jorah has taken a more active role in following the assassination of Khal Drogo. His diplomatic demeanor has been crucial in maintaining alliances and building new supports amidst campaign turbulences. Robert has wielded the Saber Space scandal as a weapon, utilizing it to question the integrity and affiliations of Marjorie's team. The link between Marjorie's team and the Masters have become a key point of attack. Marjorie Terrell, the Saber Space scandal has shocked many supporters leading to a defensive stance for Marjorie's campaign. The focus has been on damage control, distancing themselves from the implicated team member and reaffirming their campaign's dedicated dedication to freedom and justice. Ooh, are they gonna fire someone? Brian has been active in counteracting the allegations of outsourcing jobs to China, aiming to reassure voters of Marjorie's dedication to domestic prosperity and employment. Shane, the vice president, despite the chaos, has remained a steadfast presence, using her empathetic appeal to maintain connections with voters, particularly those who feel marginalized. Florida, Hot Pie's transparency on social media and strong emphasis on keeping jobs within America resonated well with the Florida and borders, the sunshine state that seems to be leaning towards Hot Pie! Pennsylvania, the strategy to, the, to target outsourcing and focus on protecting local jobs is a considerable impact. Pennsylvania is showing a notable inclination towards Hot Pie. Fuck yes! Ohio seems to be more of a mixed bag at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, so we only got two. Uh, while Hot Pie's campaign has made significant strides, it appears that the state could tilt either way as the voters are still weighing on opposite missed unfolding scandals. In conclusion, Hot Pie's team is successful in influencing Florida and Pennsylvania significantly, with Ohio still hanging on a delicate balance. Bro, let's go! Florida's huge! It's PA, Pennsylvania. Bro, we can win this. We can fucking win this, y'all! We can win this shit! How is this close? Yo, because we're the fucking campaign managers, bro! Melisandre the treasurer is revealed to have ties to Masters and Slavers Bay. That's interesting because she used to be a fucking slave. A tension-filled room with the campaign at the campaign headquarters. Marjorie sits sternly at a large oak table flanked by Daenerys and Bronn. The door swings open to reveal Melisandre who enters with an air of mysterious calm. Marjorie coldly. Melisandre, it has come to light that you may have 
unsavory connections in Savers Bay. I need to know, here and now, is there any truth to these allegations? Melisandre calmly with a cryptic tone. Marjorie, in the Game of Thrones, connections weave a web wider than the known world. It's true, there were dealings in Essos, but they were means to an end, tools wielded for a greater cause. Bronn interjecting sharply. Cut the mysterious crap, Melisandre. Are you or are you not in bed with the bloody masters? Melisandre eyes flickering with hidden flames. I'm just imagining my eyes fucking flaming up now. Low animation. We'll add that in post. How can you see it in flames? They're in... <laughs> Shut up, Mary! <laughs> there are interactions, yes, but nothing that taints our cause. Shadows have danced at the behest of our power since time immemorial. Daenerys, fiercely. We are campaigning that we are a campaign that stands for the people, for freedom. We cannot have ties to those who would chain the free and break the spirits of the oppressed. Softly, and sometimes to dismantle the chains, one must converse with the chain makers. Ooh, that's kind of deep. I like that. Learn their secrets, unravel their threads. Ooh, damn, Mel, that's actually kind of dope. Marjorie, enough, Melisandre. If our campaign is to be pure, to stand for the vows we proclaim, we cannot be associated with the taint of Savers Bay. You leave me no choice but to ask for your resignation? Bro, yes! Wait, 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 we'll pick, we'll pick a new one. We'll pick a new one. We'll pick a new one. Let's spin it. So we're, that's a treasure, right? All right, this is, this is Marjorie's new treasure. Grey Worm? That's pretty dog shit. Oh, wait, that's actually so good, though, because Grey Worm was a slave at Master's Bay. Wait, that's so smart. What the fuck? But did they hire him only because he was a slave to make it look better for her or because he was actually qualified? Because he's not, he sure isn't qualified. Yeah. No, you're actually right. The resignation of Melisandre following the scandalous revelation of her ties to the Masters, Masters of Slavers Bay sends shockwaves through the political landscape and the public. The choice, is, the choice of severed ties with Melisandre is seen as a swift and decisive action on Marjorie's part. Ah, shit. Reinforcing her image as a leader uh, committed to moral integrity and the core values of her campaign. Social media and news outlets buzz with discussions and debates over the scandal with a divided reaction from the public. Some commend Marjorie for her immediate action, interpreting it as a strong stance against corruption and unethical alliances. They view it as this cleansing act that helps maintain the integrity of the campaign. Fuck. However, there are also sectors of the public who view the scandal as a smear of Marjorie's judgment. Questions arise about whether she was aware of Melisandre's connection beforehand, causing, causing some to cast a shadow of doubt over the authenticity of her campaign. Yes! The introduction of Grey Worm as a new treasure shifts the dynamics of public perception once again. Known for his loyalty and strong sense of justice, Grey Worm helps to restore a sense of stability and moral compass to the campaign. His presence appeals to voters who value discipline, loyalty, and a clear demarcation from corrupt practices. Okay, so we can work with this. He also has zero experience, and I should add, is a foreigner! Marika! Baga! Baga! She's banging dragons, baby! All right, Hot Pie. Literally, you can get so many things better than banging dragons. Let's go. No. Oh, I thought he was banging dragons too. <laughs> All right, he just had a secret love chat. Oh, with one of the team members. Okay, that's not great. We are not banging dragons, okay? We will focus our efforts on how Marjorie simply hired Grey Worm as a virtue signal since he used to be a slave in Saver's Bay, but he is not suited for the job at all. He's a military leader, not a treasurer. So not only is she not using the best she can for the position, she took a job away from a hard-working American. Oh no, we got the red text. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. The revelation of Hotpie's secret love child with the team member makes significant waves. A media frenzy ensues, focusing on the personal lives of those within the campaign, somewhat overshadowing their political messages and objectives. There's a mixed reaction from the public. While some view his personal revelations as another mark against Hotpie's character, others consider irrelevant to his political competence and plans for the nation. In their strategy, Hotpie's campaign manager, Sir Davos, Samurai JB in chat sees on the opportunity to scrutinize Marjorie's re recent staffing choices. They frame the hiring of Grey Worm as treasurer as an ill-considered superficial move designed to capitalize on virtue signaling. They hammer home the message that Grey Worm, despite his past and military prowess, lacks the, the necessary experience and qualifications for such a significant financial role, portraying it as a compromise of the nation's interest. Let's fucking go! Marjorie's campaign isn't without its well, without its extraordinary scandal, the audacious rumor that Marjorie has secret liaisons with dragons captures the public's imagination, stirring a whirlwind of intrigue, skepticism, and sensational headlines. Though outlandish, the rumor adds a layer of fantasticals controversy to her candidacy, keeping her in the relentless spotlight of media speculation and public discussion. On the tr strategic front, 
Marjorie's campaign faces the challenge of legitimizing Grey Worm's appointment amidst criticism. They highlight his integrity, strategic acumen, and dedication to the cause, framing his role as a treasure as a valuable asset that brings diverse perspectives and strengths. They also navigate the ongoing drama, attempting to deflect the more salacious rumors and maintain a focus on their core campaign messages and policy commitments. She's a lizard person! <laughs> Hot Pie's affair and subsequent secret love child revelation involved none other than Sansa Stark! Damn, Hot Pie reaching on that one. God damn, Hot Pie, get it, get shit, bro. Anyway, the media manager of his campaign, their previously undisclosed personal relationship comes as, as a significant surprise and adds a layer of complexity to this campaign's internal dynamics and public image. Baga, Baga, Baga. Where's my fucking, I don't know, I didn't get a Baga hat. If I ever get merch, it's gonna be, one of them is gonna be a Baga hat. Can I make like a hat? Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final presidential debate. Tonight, we have the two candidates, Hot Pie and Marjorie Terrell, who will address the nation and answer your questions. Let's dive right in. The first question is about the multiple scandals that have plagued both campaigns. How do you plan to regain the trust of the American people? Hot Pie nervously. Uh, fuck, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked! He said, uh... Uh, thank you. You know, people have thrown a lot at me. Some truth, some pure nonsense. The stuff with the love child, yes, it happened. <laughs> Bro, don't acknowledge it. But that's personal. It doesn't change the fact that I stand here ready to bake America great again. Baga, baga, baga. <laughs> and to those who say I ain't fit to be president because of my past, well, people change. And so can this country, and I'm here for the hard workers, the everyday folks who've been forgotten. Not bad, not bad. Marjorie smiling gracefully. Thank you for the question. It's essential to address misunderstandings and demonstrate our, dis de our dedication to the people. Scandals are distractions. My focus has always been the policies that benefit all. Fostering a society where equality and opportunity flourish. Regarding the unusual rumors, they are fantastical tales meant to divert us from real issues. Let's remain focused on what truly matters for our nation's future. Thank you. Moving on, what will be your immediate actions to boost the economy and ensure job security? Marjorie, please answer first. Marjorie, absolutely. A thriving economy is the backbone of a prosperous na oh, sorry, prosperous society. First, we need to ensure that our education system is robust, preparing our youth for various industries including technology and renewable energy. Next, investments in infrastructure will create jobs and strengthen our communities. Lastly, by fostering small businesses and innovation, we ensure sustained growth and competitiveness on the global stage. Fuck, that was good. God damn. Well fucking said. Hot pie a bit more confidently. I come from humble beginnings, worked in kitchens, I know the value of hard work. We gotta support the rich, the job creators, let the wealth trickle down. And we've got to protect our industries, stop jobs from going to China or wherever. We're also gonna pardon Joe Exotic. That's a promise. We're here for the people who felt unheard. The Joe Exotic, free Joe Exotic. <laughs> Thank you candidates. Last question, how do you address the polarized political climate and promote unity? Look, it's been rough, I get it. But I'm just a baker turned candidate trying to do something good. We might not agree on everything, but we all want what's best for our country, right? So let's just, you know, try to listen to each other a bit more. Uh, work together and bake a better future. That was his previous slogan, but that's okay. I love it. I love it. Unity is achieved through empathy and understanding. We must appreciate our diverse experiences and ideas, finding common ground in our shared dreams and values, promoting inclusive policies, encouraging civic engagement, and fostering a political environment where respect and cooperation are paramount will be the key in healing our nation's divisions. The public's reaction is mixed, but there seems to be a slight edge in favor of Marjorie following the debate. Many appreciate her poise, articulate answers, and ability to maintain focus on policy and unity. Despite the multitude of scandals surrounding her campaign, Marjorie's performance appears to have resonated with voters who value candidates who presents a polished and thoughtful demeanor, conveying a sense of stability and clarity in their, in their vision for the country. Hot Pie, while coming across as genuinely relatable to a segment of the audience, seems to have had a harder time convincing the broader public of his pre presidential competence. His straightforward, humble approach connects with some voters, but others question whether he possesses the necessary expertise and leadership qualities for the presidency. We, as Hot Pie's co-campaign managers plus Davos, want to focus on how Marjorie is all talk, no action. Hot Pie is, the, Hot Pie is a man of action. 
She claims to be professional, but yet her whole team is surrounded by shady dealings and practically monthly sex scandals. Not to mention with dragons! She throws people under the bus to preserve her own image and takes no responsibility. She prioritizes image over everything, not for the betterment of the country. Please, Ohio. Hot Pie's team orchestrates a relentless campaign blitz emphasizing Hot Pie as the action candidate, led by Davos and bolstered by Samurai JB in chat. The team leverages every media outlet available, painting Marge as a quintessential politician. All talk, no substantive action, and marred by a series of never ending scandals. The core message revolves around Hot Pie's authentic, hands on approach. They craft narratives showcasing Hot Pie's transformative journey from a humble baker to a presidential candidate, underscoring his, resili his resilience and ability to enact real change. Central to this narrative is the contrast between Hot Pie's supposed steadfastness and Marge's alleged tendency to sacrifice team members to maintain her image. Social media is ablaze with testimony stories, testimonies, stories, and creative content. <clears throat> That's me. Spotlighting Hot Pie's accomplishments and unwavering focus on improving the lives of everyday citizens, using the power, uh, using power for imagery and poignant story time. The campaign seeks to create compelling vision of the Hot Pie presidency, synonymous with action, integrity, and steadfast leadership. Marjorie's team, mindful of the criticism counters of the campaign, solidifying her image as a professional, caring leader who is misunderstood and unfairly criticized. God, uh, fucking fuck you. They unleash a wave of information and testimonials detailing Marge's behind the scenes actions that have positively impacted communities and individuals, defending her as someone who has been steadfast in her commitment despite personal attacks and scandals. A carefully crafted narrative is pushed emphasizing Marge's resilience on fo focus on policy and her overarching vision for a united, prosperous America. The campaign leverages her debate performance using clips and quotes where she appeared presidential and focused on policy and national unity. Highlighting the diversity and unique skill sets of her team, Marjorie's campaign presents an image of inclusivity and a broad understanding of various societal facets, positioning her as a candidate with a comprehensive, multifaceted approach to national issues. Okay, okay, okay. Hot Pie States. <sighs> Alabama. Alaska. Arizona. Arkansas. Florida. Do we, do we put Arkansas in there? I don't know if we have, do we have Arkansas? Oh, we got Arkansas. Oh wait, we got Arizona? Ooh! Ohio! We got fucking Ohio? Bro! Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota. Where's what? Oh, we got Wyoming? Ah, fuck, that's the end. Okay, okay, it's fine. Oh no, boys. The final votes ended up with Hot Pie at 240 votes while marjorie had 298 but we won't accept this it was rigged it was rigged january 6th this shit hot pie flaked by doubles and other key members of his campaign addressing the media and his supporters expressing his dissatisfaction and disbelief ladies and gentlemen it seems like the world of politics is as murky as a burnt stew they say we've lost, but I don't believe these numbers. We're, there's something foul in the pot. We demand a recount. We won't just lie down and accept this. Our fight continues. Despite their refusal to concede and call for a recount, the legal process has moved forward and the states begin to certify their results, reaffirming Marjorie's victory. No! No! They say that Marjorie Tyrell has won, but we know the truth. We've seen the shadows lurking behind the curtains, the dark hands manipulating the scales of justice, and the lies whispered in the hallowed halls where the spirit of democracy is meant to reside. Marjorie and Hot Pie's teenage years were also quite, uh, eventful. So if you want to see the canon prequel to this video, watch this other video right here. Baga! Baga! Baga!